And in London in particular, the level of anti-Semitism is through the roof. Why? Because they had open borders forever, and you have a movement of individuals from the Middle East and other Muslim countries moving into Europe. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at that Manchester airport, there were two survivors of that massacre at the uh, festival on October 7th in Israel who were coming to Britain to meet with individuals and let you know, the British people know what had taken place and so forth. And uh, they were stopped by two officials, airport officials, who told them that they really weren't welcome there, who told them that uh, uh, they're there, please don't spread your viewpoints, things of that nature. And they were brutally harassed. Uh, they, they were forced to, as I recall, um, they, they had to be there for a very long time as they were talking, spoken down to and just kind of harassed by officials at the airport. And this got to, uh, this information got out, obviously, and was addressed on the floor of the House of Commons as well. So we want to check that out. Go ahead. Sir Michael Ellis. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The terrorist attack of the 7th of October on Israel has provoked widespread anti-Semitism in this country and around the world. And the latest manifestation of this was at Manchester Airport yesterday, where border force apparently did not want Israeli Jews to enter this country. Two innocent victims of the music festival slaughter were berated and told, and I quote, we have to make sure that you are not going to do what you're doing in Gaza over here, end quote. This is to two victims of the Nova Music Festival. Blaming all Jews for the actions of their country is obviously anti-Semitic. These are people in uniform acting for this country as border force officers. It is a disgrace beyond all proportion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their detention was clearly unlawful for several hours. They're being offered free legal representation, which I would urge them to take up. Can the defence, uh, forgive me, can the Deputy Foreign Secretary confirm that Jews and Israelis are still welcome to enter this country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minister. Well, I thank my right honourable and learned friend for his extremely robust uh, comments, Mr. Speaker, which uh, are uh, reflective of an absolutely outrageous, shocking, and disgraceful incident which is now being investigated. Uh, and the Home Secretary has personally said that he will be uh, investigated. I think everyone will condemn, without reservation, the extraordinary events that appear to have taken place at Manchester, made even worse by the details which he gave of the detention which took place. This is minor stuff compared to what's going on all over the world. And in London in particular, the level of anti-Semitism is through the roof. Why? Because they had open borders forever, and you have a movement of individuals from the Middle East and other Muslim countries moving into Europe. Um, you can see it in Germany. You can see it in France. France has multiple no-go zones. The suburbs of Paris are no-go no zones. What does that mean? Anybody who's not Muslim doesn't want to go there because they may not get out. Can you believe that? Let me ask you an honest question. What if I were to put on a yarmulke or kippah and I had on my lapel, let's say, uh, Star David or something like that, and I walked into Dearborn, Michigan? Or let's say they know who I am, which I have no doubt at this point they do, probably on every wanted poster in the place. Do you think I could get out of there without being violently attacked? I know that I would be attacked, people surrounding me, yelling at me, and that sort of thing. But what about violently? You think I could? But I want you to understand something. For somebody like me, Dearborn, Michigan is now a no-go zone. And you have these pockets throughout America where there are no-go zones. Um, and so it's not like we're waking up one day and it happened. These things happen over time. What, why it seems like sometimes you wake up one day and it happens, because it's not being reported. It's being censored. CNN, MSNBC, all these outlets. The print media, same thing. There was that op-ed written by the head of memory, M-E-M-R-I dot org, that I recommend you check out. And he said, he basically said, Dearborn, Michigan is where the jihadis are. He happens to be right. 
That is a, a cauldron of Jew hatred, and in many cases, America hatred, and I believe it's part of uh, Talib's district, as a matter of fact. If it's not part of it, it's right next to it, but I believe it's part of it. And Joe Biden sends senior staff down there to beg them to vote for him as he continues to stab Israel in the back. But there are no go, go zones in this country. You look at what's been happening in Brooklyn over the years to Orthodox Jews, Jewish rabbis, and yeshiva students in particular, who wear their hair a certain way, wear certain hats, wear certain coats, you know, whether it's summer or not, so they're easily identified. Um, when they say 60% of all religious hate crimes are committed against 2.4% of the population, the Jews, I bet a significant percentage of that 60% is happening in Brooklyn, New York. In Brooklyn, New York. So there are these things going on in the country, and they are quite frightening. And you would think, with the rise of all this kind of activity, that Joe Biden would want to give a speech, one formal speech, or, or direct his Department of Justice and Department of Education to do something about aspects of this and mean it, because there's very little activity going on given the size of what's taking place. And his own propaganda about the state of Israel, what do you think that does? And of course, Chuck Schumer, Jewish, ethnic, not faithful in my view, um, imagine the, the motivation, the encouragement, and the cover he's given to all these people. They cite him in the Middle East. This guy Bowman, who's a complete reprobate, leftist Marxist, elected out of uh, New York City, he praises Schumer. Schumer now gives the Jew haters cover, Biden gives the Jew haters cover, and that is a, a, a horrible thing. Now, many of you watching aren't Jewish. Mark, what is all this? This is affecting our country. It's affecting our history. It's coming to a neighborhood near you, if it hasn't already. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.